Greetings and salutations, my excellent friends. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today is going to be a little bit of a tutorial video as I show you how to use one of these. It is the Subway Locker System here in Korea. And something that comes in very handy if you're traveling and carrying a lot of stuff because let's face it, sometimes you don't want to carry a bunch of crap. So let's take a quick look. As you can see, there are three different sizes of lockers. They have the small lockers over here, the larger ones on the bottom, and over here on the right side, we have the ginormous ones. And how much do they cost? Well, fairly economical. The small ones are 1,500 won, 2,000 won for the medium size, and the large ones are 3,000 won. Now, in this bank, you can see that there are some blue lights and some red lights. And here in the center, as I focus, that red light right there indicates that of all the lockers, that is the one that is occupied. The others are vacant. So how do you use it? You go to the central co uh, console here. And what's really cool is that this is pretty much a standard one. So you, you say, I want to get a locker with the open door. And it shows you which ones are occupied. I guess there are a few that are actually occupied. So the blue ones are vacant. The red ones are occupied. So let's go ahead and choose number 33 over here. A big one. It's all oh, locker 33. And now you have to enter your password. So, well, I'm going to enter four numbers. Let's do one, two, three, four. And it says, oh my gosh, no, you can't do sequential numbers. Enter another number. So you have to pick non sequential numbers, non numbers. So let's do 1756. And then it asks me to confirm it again. So 1756. It thinks for a second, tells me the rate, and now I need to put in the money. So I can use various different coins. I can use 3001. And once I put in the money, that door over there would then open. I open it and I can use the locker. So there you go. That's how you use a Korean subway machine. You can actually even pay this one with your T Money card or looks like MasterCard PassPay or Visa PassPay. So you can use a, a, different, a lot of different ways to do it. You actually get a receipt down there at the bottom as well. I've seen one time, as I said, with the fingerprint scanner, and that was pretty cool. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and until tomorrow, stay awesome.